The Lonely is Episode 7 of the American television anthology series The Twilight Zone. It originally aired on November 13, 1959 on CBS. Topic. Opening narration Topic. Plot In 2046, an inmate named Corey is sentenced to solitary confinement on a distant asteroid for 50 years for murder. In his fourth year of confinement, he is visited by a spacecraft flown by a Captain Allenby that regularly brings him supplies and news from the Earth four times a year. The ship and crew can stay for only 15 minutes each visit, as the asteroid's orbit and the ship's fuel consumption rate make longer visits impossible, lest the space-traveling delivery crew be stuck for two weeks or more, awaiting favorable orbital conditions to depart. Captain Allenby's crew loathe being away from Earth and taunt Corey. Captain Allenby has been trying to make Corey stay humanely tolerable by bringing him things to take his mind off the loneliness, like the components to build an old car. Captain Allenby believes Corey that the killing was in self-defense and sympathizes with him. Corey's pardon was rejected and murder cases have a review backlog of 50 years or more. On this trip on the 15th day of the sixth month of the fourth year, however, Allenby tells Corey not to open a certain crate that has just been delivered until after the transport crew leaves. Upon opening the special container, Corey discovers that Allenby has left him with a gynoid named Alicia to keep him company. Alicia is capable of emotions, memory and has a lifespan comparable to a human. At first, Corey detests her, rejecting Alicia as a mere machine, synthetic skin and wires inside only capable of mocking him. However, when Corey hurts Alicia and sees that she is in fact capable of crying, he immediately realizes that she has feelings. Over the next 11 months, Corey begins to fall in love with her. Alicia develops a personality that mirrors Corey's, and the days become bearable. When the ship returns, Captain Allenby brings news that Corey has been pardoned after a review of past murder cases, but they only have 20 minutes to leave. The crew has been dodging meteors and are nearly out of fuel. Corey, it seems, can return home to Earth immediately. Corey learns that there is only room for 15 pounds of luggage. Corey seems unconcerned as he doesn't have 15 pounds worth of possessions that he cares about, until he realizes that the crew does not consider Alicia human. The 15-pound limit is far too little for his robot companion, as there are seven other passengers on the ship from other asteroids. He frantically tries to find some way to take Alicia with him, arguing that she is not a robot, but a woman, and insisting that Allenby simply does not know Alicia as he does. At that point, just as the rest of the transport crew is surprised at the sight of Alicia, Allenby suddenly draws his gun and shoots her in the face. The robot breaks down, malfunctioning, her face a mass of wire and broken circuitry which repeats the name, Corey. He then takes Corey back to the ship, assuring him he will only be leaving behind loneliness. I must remember that, Corey says tonelessly. I must remember to keep that in mind. Topic. Closing narration <laughs> Topic. Cast Jack Warden as James A. Corey Jean Marsh as Alicia John Denner as Allenby Ted Knight as Adams James Turley as Carstairs 
Topic: Other media. An audio adaptation of The Lonely, featuring Mike Starr as Corey, was produced for radio in the mid 2000s. It was released on CD by CBS Consumer Products in 2007 as part of the Twilight Zone radio dramas Volume 4. In 2007, The Lonely was produced for the stage by Four Letter Entertainment. Topic. Production information This was the first regular episode to enter production following the success of the pilot episode, Where is Everybody?, in selling the series. This was the first of several episodes, including, I shot an arrow into the air, a hundred yards over the rim, and the Rip Van Winkle Caper, to be filmed on location in Death Valley. Unprepared for the terrible conditions they would face, the crew suffered extreme dehydration and heat exhaustion and director of photography George T. Clemens even collapsed, falling from a camera crane while filming continued. Jack Warden would star in another episode of this season featuring a robot, The Mighty Casey. Also written by Rod Serling. Topic: Science. In 2016, asteroid 469,219 Oolewa was discovered, whose closest approach is 9 million miles from Earth. However, its estimated size of 130 to 330 feet would not produce the gravity or atmosphere shown in the episode. Topic: Further reading. Zykre, Mark Scott, The Twilight Zone Companion. Silman James Press, 1982, second edition. DeVoe, Bill. 2008. Trivia from the Twilight Zone. Albany, Georgia: Bear Manor Media. ISBN 9781593931360. Grams, Martin. 2008. The Twilight Zone, Unlocking the Door to a Television Classic. Churchville, M.D., O.T.R. Publishing. ISBN 978-0-9703310-9-0. Topic. External links. The Lonely on IMDb